Hi, I'm Jasmina. I'm a third year undergraduate in the government department and I'm a member of the LSE Undergraduate Political Review Editorial Board. I'm here with Mrs. Maria Miller, MP. Um, she is the chair of the Women and Equalities Committee and she's also an LSE alumna. Um, welcome. Thanks for being here today. Um, so my first question is how does the committee hold the government to account uh, for its performance on equality issues? Well, the Women and Equality Select Committee is a brand new select committee. It didn't exist before June of last year. And it's quite surprising there wasn't a select committee there to scrutinise equality's policies because it's such an important issue and it's something that works across government. Um, so as a select committee now, fully established, um, our role is to, to do just that. It's to scrutinise government policy. And we do it uh, by looking at the issues that are most pertinent in society today on equalities, calling for evidence, um, and then scrutinising that evidence against uh, the policies and the you know procedures that the government has in place. So we're factually based, we're evidence based. We're also cross party. So the reports that we publish are powerful because it's not only a, a scrutiny from a you know a critical friend. It's a scrutiny across um, all of the major parties in Parliament. Um, today we've just published uh, our very first inquiry report on trans people and the issues they face. Um, and that is uh, it's powerful in itself because it's the first ever report of its type and it's a real landmark in um, scrutiny of government policy. Congratulations on that. Um, so my second question is what progress has been made um, and remains to be made in terms of equality and diversity, both in politics and in positions of influence in general? A huge progress needs to be made. Um, yes, we have come some way. When I was here, 82 to 85, um, you know, and I come back now and I see an organisation like the LSE and how it has transformed, but still has a huge way to go. And I look at Parliament and it's the same. I joined Parliament in 2005. I was one of only 17 women in my party. And in fact, when I became a member of Parliament, I was the 265th woman to ever be in Parliament. When I was a cabinet member, I was the 38th woman to ever be a member of the cabinet of any party. So we have got a huge way to go as a parliament, as a society, to really make sure that women have not only an equal role in um, getting good education, but also then to go on and to use that in leadership and influencing positions in the future. Um, you know, the gender pay gap may have diminished for younger women, but it's still there for older women, for women over 40, because so few hold these positions of influence. Um, and for me, that's a huge priority in the work I'm doing. And in fact, the second uh, report of the Select Committee is on the gender pay gap for over 40-year-old women, and we will be specifically look at, looking at how we can ensure more women can take on those influential positions in the future. I think that's very important <laughs> as a woman as well. Um, so as an LSE alumna, uh, what advice would you offer to current students seeking a career in politics? Um, well, I have a very um, particular view of politics. I think people should have a career before they go into politics. Um, some of my colleagues have come straight from you know, perhaps research jobs to, to take up political office. Um, but I, I think very strongly that actually you can gain a great deal from having, you know, having done something else and bring that experience into political life. But for sure, we need more people thinking about politics as a career, um, particularly more women thinking about politics as part of their career path. It's hugely rewarding. Um, it's the best job I've ever had. Uh, I was a director of an advertising agency before and that was a pretty good job. Um, but to be a member of parliament where you can represent your constituents but you can also take issues you can see as emerging issues like the issues facing trans people and, and, and actually make a real change and that's a powerful thing to be able to do and hugely rewarding. So I, I, my advice would be um, be interested in politics do something you can bring to the game and then get involved, whatever party. Uh, but particularly, we need more people who are thinking about politics in the long term. All right. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you. Thank you.